Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji and welcome to Kababayan Today. Today is a very, very special show because we pay tribute to a man that was gone too soon. Enzo Pastor was a promising Filipino racer with accolades in the international racing circuit and he was brutally murdered a year ago in the Philippines. So we celebrate and pay tribute to his life, a Filipino na maipagmamalaki natin sa buong mundo. Joining us on Kababayan today are his family, his siblings, kasama natin si Samantha Pastor Yalong, Carlo Pastor, Bonita Pastor Moncal, and Don Pastor. Enzo's story is indeed heart-wrenching, so I suggest parental guidance as we will be discussing his murder and how until today, justice for their brother Enzo has yet to be served. Thank you so much for being here. Mga ate, kuya, bonita, Don. It's hard to talk about this, but all of you are together today. Why? Ate Sam, why are you here today? Seek justice. It's been a year, Kuya Carlo. Yeah. Has the pain diminished? No, not for me, or not for all of us, of course. So, not yet. Um, okay, so yeah. let's give a backgrounder. Sino ba si Enzo? Bonita, tell us. Who is Enzo Pastor? Enzo was born after me, before before Don. Mm -hmm. He was he was a special person. He was unique, mm -hmm. one of a kind. Yeah, and so I mean, his characteristics from the very beginning. He's so loving, so passionate. The way he speaks to someone, mm -hmm. he can't just talk to you. Nah without sense. He is a person um, who lives up to action with purpose. Okay. Don, yeah. Enzo was your kuya. Yeah, he was my, the closest uh, brother between me and Enzo. Talk about your kuya. Uh, he, was, um, he was a personal guy. Uh, he always shined in, in the racetrack. Uh, even if he had like, you know, a couple people around him, he would just reach out to the guy selling water and just talk about a normal day. How's your day going? He's like a very personal guy, so okay. A so lot of people. let's talk about your family. Lahat po kayo ipinanganak sa Pilipinas. Except for me. Except for you. Okay. Yeah. So dito ka na pinanganak. Mm -hmm. uh, both your parents are mm -hmm. Filipino. Yes. You grew yes. up in the Philippines. Came to Glendale, California. Migrated mm -hmm. all together, and Enzo went back to the Philippines and then came back here. Right. So. Uh, the true kababayan, kumbaga, di ba? Right. Pinalaki doon, dumating dito, bumalik doon, fill mm. amp talaga kayong lahat. Mm -mm. And I want to know, when was the last time each of you saw your brother? Ate Sam. <laughs> when did you last see your brother? Many years ago. Um, and we didn't live in good... You didn't leave in good terms. Yes. Nag-away pa kayo? Yes. Yes. Okay, so, so hindi resolved yung... Yes. Kaya siguro mas masakit, ano? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When was the last time you saw your younger brother? For, for me, I go home once or twice a year, so... Because you're, you're based in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. But I, I go home to visit family and, and so forth. But um, that year, that year... Um, a couple months prior to the incident. Okay, because uh, you've always gone to all of his races, is this correct? Most, most, yeah. Even to the uh, ones in Europe and, and all around Asia yeah. also. So uh, you can say na talagang yeah. kuyang kuya ka kay Enzo. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ikaw naman, Bonita, when was the last time you saw your brother? Yung huling nakita ko si Enzo. You can re I can really feel that he knew it was the last time because he drove me to work every day for one week. We would read the Bible together and he would say, oh, it's so cold here in the States. You know, he couldn't wait to go home to his sons and he left um, to receive his award in Charlotte um, for his NASCAR race. It was about 5 a.m. in the morning. They had to catch a flight from Burbank. To Charlotte and I was still sleeping but but I ran downstairs and I hugged him really tight um, that was the last time 
he visited us um, right before Christmas and I said come on stay send the boys here for Christmas no I promised them you know um, I, I have to be with them and he was just really concerned about them all the time so. okay so to give a backgrounder of what happened when we return uh, pag-uusapan natin kung ano ba talaga nangyari kay Enzo at bakit hanggang ngayon hindi pa wala pang hustisya para sa kanilang kapatid we'll be right back here on Kababayan Today